Good morning. Um, I don't know what to say. I think I've run out of words to describe the situation in Syria. It's uh, simply heartbreaking and devastating to, to read the reports every morning. And now we also have the risk for, for regional escalation. We must, of course, urge uh, all to respect international law, uh, to show restraint and to uh, avoid further escalation of the situation. Uh, as you know, we have circulated a resolution uh, for humanitarian pause. Uh, discussions are progressing constructively, and we will continue those efforts today and hope that we will be able to move for, for swift action on that. Uh, but today's focus is on the political situation uh, or the political process. As we all know, we need a political solution to end the suffering. Uh, we are looking forward to hear the updates from Demistura, uh, including on how he plans to take forward the Sochi Declaration. And it's important for the Council to step up and to support uh, his way forward in informing the Constitutional Commission uh, as he moves forward on that path. Are you concerned that the Syrian government has already rejected his proposals on the Sochi Constitution? I hope to hear clarity uh, today on, on that issue. And uh, our understanding is that we work on the basis of the declaration that was issued and that has been published also on the website, uh, the Russian website, following this meeting. Ambassador, Ambassador how hopeful that are you that you can avert uh, Russian veto on your draft resolution. They're, they've done 11 vetoes on Syria. We're working with all member states, and as I said so far, there has been uh, an inconst constructive engagement by all parties, including the Russians, and so we're hopeful that we'll be able to move forward uh, with a consensus product. This has been the spirit that we've been working on uh, in the humanitarian track, and we adopted a resolution uh, as late as, as December, so we're still hopeful on this. It's very difficult, of course, uh, given, but given the situation on the ground, it's urgent that we try. Let me also just uh, draw the attention to the situation in Yemen. As you know, there has been escalation of violence along the Red Sea, uh, and I really want to draw your attention to that situation. Uh, it's the civilians that pay the price, and it's important that the Council follow up uh, on its PRST from, from last year. Uh, there has been pro positive progress uh, uh, in terms of access in the data port, and we now need to build on that progress and ensure that we cement and that we look uh, to what needs to be done further to, in, uh, to alleviate the suffering also in, in Yemen. Thank Ambassador, you. Ambassador, if this resolution passed about humanitarian situation in Syria, will this, just to be clear, this also oblige Turkey to stop its operation in Afrin? I don't want to comment on that. We will uh, get back when we have agreement.